fairy lights in their Nashville apartment's rooftop gave Taylor Swift's teary face a warm glow. Travis Kelsey stood across from her with an odd velvet box in his hand. He was fresh off the bench and had a sheepish grin on his face. Hey, what's wrong? Travis asked, and his voice was full of worry. They were planning a low-key first anniversary party with food and movies, which would be a nice break from their busy lives. Taylor wiped her eyes and sniffled. It's not a big deal, Trav, it's just. She said, pointing to the box. Travis laughed tensely. What did I do wrong? Did you want, say, a stadium full of screaming fans singing your songs? A wet sound came from Taylor's laugh. No, that would be amazing, but a little much for the rooftop. After taking a big breath, she asked, remember when we first met and you told me about a song your mom used to sing to you? Travis raised an eyebrow. Yeah, the ballad of Redbud Creek. You said it was a family legend, no recording, just passed down. She said, exactly, and her voice was full of feeling. You said you always wished there was a way to hear it properly. Travis's face got bright. Oh no, you didn't. Taylor slowly reached for the box. Inside, on velvet, was a worn-out notebook bound in leather. She opened it and gasped for air. The first page had very fine writing that said, The Ballad of Redbud Creek. As the hour went on, Taylor's feelings were a mix of happiness and shock. Travis found his great-aunt, who was the last person to remember the song, after months of searching and cold calling. She sang it into a recorder and gave Travis the Kelsey family history, which she had carefully written by hand. As the last notes of the haunting tune died away, there was silence on the roof. She looked at Travis with bright eyes. Travis, it's beautiful. It's even better than I thought it would be. Travis grabbed her and hugged her. This is for you. Many people are moved by the stories you write, but he whispered, this one is ours. That night, under the stars in Nashville, Taylor understood how important the gift really was. It was more than just a song, it was a testament to Travis's love and a lesson that the best things in life are often hidden in the heart. Their Nashville home has fairy lights that make Taylor Swift's teary face look warm. Austin Kelsey, her NFL star boyfriend, knelt down in front of her with a velvet box in his shaky hand. The air was electric with excitement, and their first anniversary dinner was a forgotten mess on the table. Tay, Travis said, his voice full of feeling, this year has been the best of my life. You've added a tune to the chaos of my season, and... He messed around with the box until he finally broke it open. Inside, there was a single, shiny guitar pick lying on a bed of red velvet. It wasn't just any pick, though. It was a beautiful mural made of thousands of tiny tiles that showed scenes from their quick romance, like how they met at a charity gala, how they laughed together at picnics in the park, and how Travis surprised her at her concert in London. Each tile is a memory carefully etched into a rainbow of colors. Taylor's eyes got teary. A love song strung on a single guitar string wasn't just a gift, it was a record of their journey. The careful thought that went into it, the way Travis told their story in such a personal way, broke her down. Travis, she choked out, her voice heavy with feeling, this is. She couldn't finish her sentence because the gift was so beautiful and special to her. Travis laughed, and there was a hint of relaxation in his face. This is a small gift to mark our first year together. Yeah, I found this tile artist who does great work. It took him months to make. He reached out and gently wiped a tear off her face. Tay, it made me think of how you tell stories through your songs. I wanted to record ours in a way that felt unique, just like you. Taylor finally said, it's perfect, Travis, with a voice full of emotion perfect in every way. She held the thin pick in her hands and used her thumb to trace the tiny tiles. Each one was a stroke of genius in the painting that was their love story. That night, they didn't eat their anniversary dinner. Instead, they sat on the couch together and talked about the memories that the mosaic pick showed. Travis played her favorite songs on his phone, and Taylor sang along with her guitar. Her voice became more soft as she sang. The party wasn't big, but in the quiet, closeness of the moment, they celebrated a love that went beyond anything material. 
the small guitar pick, which was a sign of how deeply they were connected, would always have a special place in Taylor's heart. It would remind her of the man who had shown her the music in their love story. There were fairy lights in the sky, which cast a warm glow over Taylor Swift's cozy Nashville porch, where she was sitting with a mug of tea in her hands. A light spring rain fell on the windows outside, making for a great background for a quiet evening in. Even though they were in a beautiful place, Taylor had a frown on his face. It was their first anniversary with Travis tonight, and she felt a familiar knot of worry form in her gut. Travis, who was always the big-hearted jock, loved making big moves. He shocked her last year by having a mariachi band play for her during halftime of a game. It almost caused a social media breakdown. Taylor was a hopeless lover at heart and loved how excited he was about everything. But this year, she wanted something more personal, something that would remind her of the quiet times they spent together. She wasn't paying attention, so she missed the door opening. Strong arms wrapped around her, and the smell of Travis's cinnamon and aftershave washed over her. He teased, hey there, birthday girl, in a low voice. Taylor tried hard to smile. It's not my birthday, silly. Travis laughed, and his blue eyes sparkled. Even greater. Enjoy your anniversary, sweetheart. He reached into his pocket and took out a small plush box. For you. Tay's heart beat faster. A box? She felt a pang of fear as she thought, here we go again. But as she opened it, she let out a gasp. There wasn't a fancy diamond necklace or a trip to an island far away inside. The leather cover on the notebook was worn, and the pages were full of faded ink and small drawings. What is this? She asked in a low voice, full of feeling. Travis smiled. Remember that time you mentioned wanting to visit the bookstore where you wrote your first song lyrics? Taylor's eyes got bigger. She wrote her teenage heart out on napkins at a local bookstore cafe years ago, before there were arenas and loud fans. A place she'd never been back to because she was afraid of being seen by everyone. I tracked down the owner, he said, and after some convincing, he let me buy this. He pointed to the book. It's the one you used to write in. Taylor's eyes got teary. It wasn't the money value of the gift that made her happy, but the fact that it was thoughtful and showed that you knew what she really wanted. In a way, this wasn't a big show for everyone to see. It was a memory of the girl who dared to dream. She shed a mix of happy and sad tears as she traced the worn leather cover. Travis pulled her close, and his hug felt like a safe place to be. Happy anniversary, Taylor, he said slightly out loud. This is just the beginning of our story. At that peaceful moment, with the fairy lights and light rain falling, Taylor understood that the best gifts weren't the ones that cost a lot. They were the ones that spoke to the heart and said, I see you and love you just the way you are.